Hello, today I will be teaching you how to use the MIDI keyboard in Soundtrap. So first we're going to find Soundtrap, we're going to go to Soundtrap and open up the studio. I'll, the link to Soundtrap, the website will be in the description. So first what we want to do is we want to add a new track. Let's add a clarinet. So as we can see, the moment we open the clarinet, we are met with a keyboard on the screen. And we can use this keyboard to create notes for us to play by clicking on them. But we can also use our keyboard on our computer to, to create notes. And this, will, this will be helpful if you want to create more than one note, and, or if you want to do long jumps accurately and on time. So, so it starts off with a Z, and it's a C major scale up to the comma. Then after the period, the comma restarts C again, and after the period, it jumps up to Q. This might take a little getting used to, but over time it'll be understandable and you'll be able to use it. So it adds, there's ha the half steps are shaped in a way that in, on the keyboard on our computer, matches the keyboard on the screen. So S is a little bit above and between Z and X. D is a little bit above and between X and C. There's, there's no binding on our computer keyboard on F because there's no note up in between these two keys, C and V or E and F. So let's write a little piece, a short piece with the MIDI keyboard. So, so we can, so that's the whole track right there. We can add more tracks. Let's add another track. Let's add a tuba. So we can add a tuba track. And it uses the same thing. Let's, let's, let's use the tuba, but let's use the upper keyboard, like starting with QWERTY in the period. So, let, uh, so that sounds a little bit high for a tuba, so we can go over here and click octave down a couple times to get uh, an appropriate octave for the tuba. So let's record a second part. So you see I messed up there a little bit. This is, this is an easy fix. If we can record it again, or we can just open up the piano roll, click, highlight these notes, and delete, and add the note we want. I would want a C there. Let's see how that sounds. That doesn't sound too bad. Let's keep it. So, so a couple quick tips is if you ever find yourself using the keyboard and it disappears like this, an easy fix is just to go up and click on this icon right next to the track. And that will open up the keyboard for us. On this keyboard you can adjust the volume of the of the of the instrument. You can adjust all these different uh, 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 balances. Alright, thank you for watching my video. That is how you use the MIDI keyboard in Soundtrap.